This demonstration should last about five minutes, so it's at a pace you can follow. Beforehand, take note that your tie has a fat end and a skinny end, the head and the tail. But it doesn't really matter which side of your body you put the head on, as the knot tying can be done either way. This is a mirror image video to help you follow, and this is my right hand. Aside from the two ends, your tie also has two sides. The face side is what's worn outside and is seamless, and the seam side is at the back. We're going to start with the face side up. So take your tie and face side up, place it around your neck flat against your body. At this point we're going to adjust for the length of the head when done. You do that by pulling on the tie so that the tail hangs right about the bottom of your ribcage. Remember the starting point is this is how you adjust to make the head hang in front of your belt line after you're done. And it can take several tries. Now we're going to take the head and cross it over the tail, making an X. I'll put it here so it shows face side out now. Now for the purpose of tying the knot, the space between the center of the X and your neck we'll call the tie hole. It's this hole here. And there are four ways we can put the head. We can make it come out of the hole. We can make it go into the hole. We can make it go behind the hole and we can make it go across the hole. To simplify the process, I'm going to use my other hand to do all the work while this hand just holds the X. This X here becomes the knot, so I'll call this hand the knot hand. To begin, with the last three fingers of your knot hand, grab the tail just below the center of the X. Make sure you have a good grip with your knot hand. First, we'll make the head go behind the hole. So go ahead and reach behind the hole. Grab the head and pull it over to the side. You can see that the seam is now facing out. Next, we're going to make the head go across the hole. At this point, notice that you have the thumb and forefinger of your knot hand over the center of the X. With that in place, go ahead and move the tie across the hole. I'll move it here so it shows face side out now. Then we're going to make the head come out of the hole. So go ahead and reach behind the hole, grab the tie, make it come out of the hole, and pass into the two fingers of your knot hand. That's what it was for. Then pull the rest of the head through. Let it fall in front of you. Keep pulling until the resulting knot is tight, but not too tight. Straighten it up if it needs to. To tighten the tie around your neck, grab the tail with one hand and the bottom of the knot with the other. And now you do a pull and slide motion. Pull in the tail, slide the knot up. Pull slide until you close the tie hole. Tidy up a bit. At this point you can now flip your collar down. Make sure everything looks nice. And you're all done.